Oh, it's weird. <laughs> What's up you guys welcome to another vlog on the nick and carla channel i'm actually pulling up it's uh 5 16 in the morning i got up at like 4 30 a.m and i'm actually pulling up at the truck so i can get ready to take it down to birmingham so that we can get our apu repaired um so far what we've been having to do to maintain the power and the battery is um uh, turn all the power off in the sleeper and the truck the whole thing we had to just turn both the knobs off um to maintain the power in the battery so when i get in this truck it should start up and there should be no issues Today is the day of my girl's trip. Um, I finally got my life together a little bit. I'm still getting my life together. But what I'm doing is I'm looking, doing last minute touches on my stuff. Um, just trying to make sure I'm not overpacking and everything in here I actually want it. So um, my friends, they're meeting at um my place today so that we can leave from here getting on the road we're gonna let y'all come along and meet my friends and just see how we get down so everybody is here i'm just gonna look around and make sure i ain't leaving now because yes yeah, like i'm leaving something this bitch Would you ask her to fly? She didn't. I was about to. She was about to. She didn't fly. Just a quick backstory. So we all ordered shirts that we were gonna wear on our girls' trip, but this shaded one right here, no, she went and ordered a shirt by her damn self. Oh, Come around. That's a matter of fact. That's a matter of fact. Come up, come over here in the light so we can see you. So, oh, I'm in the light. Y'all read my shirt because she can't read. To the person behind me, you are amazing, amazing. beautiful, and enough. Remember that. Just say so remember that and you know I love it. I'm bitch. Watch right here. There, come here. I see the bitch. I see the top. We doing a, we doing a group hug. Girls trip. Yeah. We doing a group hug. No. You know, that's how I. No. We gonna wear that Talk ass out like No, 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 no. Oh, and it is. We gonna wear that ass out like like that I have made it um, they don't open until 8 and it's currently 7 22 a.m. so I am just gonna try to get the truck together start trying to um 
like make up the bed and stuff while I wait on uh, them to open. I see uh, loads are coming through. Ugh. And even though today is Friday and we don't leave until Tuesday, I'm actually still gonna be kind of watching the load board to see, let's see, what date is that? Uh, 13th. So let's see if I can have something locked and loaded for the 13th to get us started. So cleaning and watching the load board. starting to see a little moving around out there 748 reason I got here so early is because it's a first come first serve even though our maintenance guy called ahead of time and you know told him that I was be, I'll be coming it's still first come first serve so I want to get here really early anyway uh Carla uh me and Carla when we went shopping either yesterday or the day before and we ended up getting um, some rugs. We got this little mat here. And we got this rug here. So, since the floor is sanitized, I'm going to go ahead and lay it down. And dry it, I'm going to lay it down. Let's see if it adds a little brightness to the uh, truck even more. You like I'm about to go in, honey. I'm about to follow suit as soon as I lay this down. Oh, I guess she could be the guinea pig. Seems like she's just standing out there. It's like, you know, the guy, he just got here. It's not 8 o'clock yet, so try to let him get in and settle in first. And we have rules now of no shoes in the back. Oh, she's in there. All right, she in there. What time is it? Guess I get ready to head that way, too.
into my bay. I can't stay in the truck. I gotta get out, so I'm trying to bring all my electronics and stuff. They said they got a lounge here, so we'll see. up you guys so i got everything taken care of with the apu so what happened is um the bracket that holds the alternator in the apu just snapped so the alternator was just hanging and then also some wire snapped as well so he replaced all of that stuff and uh fixed it up so now the apu is is good to go um now i drove like 30 miles up the road and i met some ta truck stop or Petro, and um, I'm getting a DOT inspection because uh, it's we're due for that DOT inspection where they go through our entire truck, inspect it, make sure it's up to standards for being on the road um, and it's safe to drive. But I think everything is good. The truck passed. I'm just waiting to get all my paperwork, and then I can finally head home and finally geek out on my game. I've been wanting to play that game for the longest, but it's so much work that I've been having to get complete that I have not been able to complete.
Cheers to more girls. Yay! Yeah. 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 Y
So we're about to see what it's giving. Real food done real good. Real food done real good. We'll be the judge of that. How you guys doing? You guys are so cute. Thank you. Are you documenting the trip? Yeah. Let's have to have one. That's like documenting. Hello. I'm in eight. Okay, so to be honest, this restaurant, the food was really good. But when I tell you the service was crappy, it was just one of them places when you walk in, they make you feel unwelcome, if you know what I mean. So I wouldn't recommend anybody to go to this restaurant. If you decide to go, do it at your own will, but not off of my recommendation. Okay, so I'm multitasking. Yes, I'm playing a little Zelda, but I am also looking at the low board. So far, I'm not seeing anything on there. Um, let me check the other side. But um, I also had them set to where, like, if anything, any load opportunities come, they're going to send it to my cell phone rather than the truck. I didn't think to switch that over, but shout out to the guy who put us back in service. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep watching. I'll let y'all know if I find anything. Like, oh, girl, she's talking a lot, but you can tell she's passionate about it. Yeah, she knows what she is. And she, 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 she want to make she, sure you happy with what you want. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I like people like that. Like, even when she pulled that thing over here, it's like she was showing you the history of, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. she knows of how the restaurant came about. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't oh know. I ain't even think that I'm going to say COVID to Angelique. Let me see me. Oh, Sonya. But then they work. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Hey. Oh, Jesus. Hey, this is what we're supposed to be seeing. <laughs> that was fun. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. That's how I was spreading y'all to look. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is the ruby slipper. Y'all, when I tell y'all everything we got was good. Everything. The service was good. I serve a Jeanette. The f***ing bum. So, if y'all are ever in this area, make sure y'all try out this restaurant. It was really good. <laughs> what's up you guys so just to update okay so um i got us a load it was a lot of uh phone calls because i'm not at the truck um i had them send all the little opportunities to my cell phone so my phone was just ringing off the hook but um i i had a so the load is picking up in i think mount vernon indiana and then we're dropping in Dothan, Alabama. Now, this is kind of the issue that I ran into. I had an option to either go to Dothan, Alabama, or uh, take a load that was picking up, um, I think in Louisville, Kentucky, and going to Chicago, or oh, near Chicago. Now, the one going to Dothan is paying significantly more. However, it is kind of tricky getting out of Dothan. It's kind of like a difficult spot to be in because loads are just not um there's not a lot, a lot of loads in the area chicago is not the best 
for our type of freight. However, it would have probably been more popping than Dothan. Now, the reason I decided to just go ahead and go with Dothan, not just because it was paying more, but because it puts us in a scenario while we're in this moment, this phase of like heavily depending on our mentors to kind of help us figure things out. I wanted to go ahead and see what type of ideas are we all going to come up with when we put our heads together to get out of Dothan and keep things flowing. And it's like I want to put us in these difficult or these challenging scenarios while we're with our mentors because the idea is you, you know, you kind of depend on your, your mentors for like the first six months. Then after that, it's kind of like you try to figure things out on your own. You're not completely on your own. If you want to reach out to your mentors, you can. But it's like after a while, you need to just be figuring things out and running things on your own. So I, because Dothan is so close to home and it may be an area that we end up in a few times than usual, I wanted to go ahead and, um, and just see like what happens when we get to Dothan, like how are we gonna get? And a lot of people who drive semi or track, I'm sorry, track the trailer, they don't understand. They just be like, why just get the load and just go and just keep running. It's like, it doesn't work like that um with this expedited freight with these little bitty trucks uh, that's why you do a lot more sitting than usual but the thing is the loads can pay more and like i said you make just like even when i'm showing you these loads canceling and all that stuff with all that included you're still going to average um as a team that 100 to like 150 thousand dollars in a year so this is just a part of this is just what comes with it and the reason why carl and i are vlogging this is so we can show everything and shout out to highfield the reason why they trust us to even just show you all because we show the good the bad and the ugly we show you the low skin council we show you just all of that stuff so you see what type of things you're going to deal with when you come out of here so even though it's a lot of fun it's it's nice to travel i'm excited to just get back in the truck and move around it's like the stuff that you're just gonna deal with. Right now I'm headed to Publix to get Carla's fruit because she said she wanted a lot of fruit and um, that's what I'm getting ready to do right now. What's up you guys? Look who is home. I'm home. Mm, she is home. I missed her y'all. We, uh, she just been telling me little stories, honey. It sounded like they had a crazy good time, and I just look forward to editing it and seeing what happened down there, honey. <laughs> at least a little bit. Yeah. But I missed you so much. I missed you too. Oh. I'm glad to be home.